We are always trying to find the coolest RVs in the world. Today we're hanging out here at Premier RV of Oregon with Damon. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, how about you? Excellent, thank you. When I heard about this Prevo you guys have, some of these country coaches, and this new Mar Essex, we had to make the trip here to Junction City. Now you were telling me this is a one owner new Mar Essex, and the original owner didn't want anyone else driving the coach, so they went to Newmar to pick it up at the factory and then stored it indoors its entire life? Yep, at their house and up in Portland. Kept it up just perfect. And due to age, throwing the towel in and asked us to come pick it up and get it off their hands for them. Well, that's a great opportunity for someone. And we know that here at Premier RV of Oregon, you guys specialize in Country Coach. We're in the old Country Coach facility, but I'm seeing some other Newmar product here in your showroom. Now, will you take in, you know, just Country Coach on consignment or Newmar or what all will you guys sell here at Premier RV of Oregon? Well, we're really picky, first off. So we wanna go through the coaches and make sure they're gonna be a good fit for us and what we sell and to maintain our, our image. And if it is, then anything's on the table. Newell's, Prevost, Newmars, Monaco's, Tiffin's, we've had them all in here just in the last year. As long as this is a good coach and it checks out well, buy our, buy our text and we're, we're happy to take a look at it and run it through the sales. Yes, sir. Well, you've got some extremely clean, low mile, well cared for coaches here. And I think there's a few Newmars that I'd like to show the folks on YouTube. You think you can show us around? Absolutely, let's do it. They did a great job on this 17 Essex with the color scheme. I love the cream and black color paint scheme, but how many miles does this coach have? And 43,000. And how much money does someone need to become the next owner? 399 so Under 400,000 yes. for a 17 Essex. This is a great opportunity. Now there's also a Dutch Star and a Ventana here that we want to show everybody, but let's take a quick let's, peek inside. Let's take a look. Well, they did a great job specking this coach. I love the light color woods, almost like a modern farmhouse style wood floors. I would and say it's all heated. Heated wood floors. Yeah. And there's no carpet on the slide room as well. I nope. like the way Newmar does that. This is a triple full wall slide coach and lots of cool details like the accent walls here. So what else is going on inside of this coach? Custom ordered, they handpicked all the colors and did a beautiful job. It has uh, some tile from the King Air. They brought in some other features from other models that they liked. I love the, it's more of a matte style cabinet. It's not the high gloss cabinet does have the Fisher Paykel dishwasher, Whirlpool microwave, Whirlpool refrigerator with a water and ice dispenser. And this is something cool Numar does that I really like. If you want to extend that out, you can easily extend that just by lifting it up. And then if you want to use this area as like an office setup, you can spin this around. And they do have some flowers there, but you can slide out that keyboard tray, put a monitor here. So have kind of a dual use of a dinette area as well as an office area. And beautiful chairs, I mean, every little detail that Newmar does in this coach. The Essex is right below the King Air, so this is gonna have a lot of nice equipment in it. Yeah, absolutely. Now, this is a bath and a half coach. It is, 4553 is the name of the floor plan, bath and a half. We've got the central vac uh, components here in the half bathroom and a beautiful tile backsplash. We can vent this window out. There is another vent with a fan. And now coming back into the rear suite with the triple full wall slide, we have a much wider opening. We can close those if you want to section it off. But this is something that is a little different than a lot of the coaches I'm seeing. A lot of space on both sides of the bed. Looks like a queen size bed here. It is a queen size bed. That's what they ordered. They wanted it to be easy to make the bed. However, we do a lot of remodeling here so we can trim these nightstands and, and put a king bed in easy enough if the buyer would like. Or if you want to snuggle real close with or your spouse, you queen size bed works too. Yes. So yeah. now, now this is something I love that the Newmar did in the Essex, the way they bring the puck lighting. They have this accent piece that kind of comes out from the slide room and then gives you that nice lighting. And then we're gonna have a lot of controls for lighting, the generator that you can adjust all while laying in bed. More storage below. And this is a 17, so I'm not seeing outlets and I'm not seeing the spot for a CPAP machine. I think they started adding that in later years. But they do do a lot of remodeling here at Premier RV of Oregon. So if someone wanted to have this made into a king size bed, that could be done. Or if someone wanted to add some ports CPAP through there. CPAP prep. Yep, we oh. can do it. 
Absolutely. Oh, that is a huge bathroom behind you. That's like almost the size of the bedroom here. This is quite the floor plan. What do you think? Do you think we could play a, a game of catch in here? We could probably throw a football around in we this bathroom. We probably could, it's huge. Yeah, well, especially with the cathedral ceilings. Yep. And that's something that I learned that Country Coach started doing. You guys do have a bath and a half rare Country Coach with a higher ceiling we just did a video on. We'll make sure to leave that in the description below, but we've got an emergency egress door washer dryer yep washer dryer and a huge closet along the back of the coach all the original manuals and books and i really like the way they brought these same kind of modern farmhouse floors into the rear bathroom and this is got the dual sinks and then a very large shower with a shower head that's kind of coming down from the ceiling and then that seamless drain with a teak seat beautiful tile work multiple shower heads this is a really nice coach isn't it beautiful yes sir now we've got a couple other new mars i want to take a quick peek at but how much money does someone need to become the next owner of this coach 399.9 this is a lot of coach under four hundred thousand dollars but i think You've got a Dutch Star. Let's take a look at that coach real quick. A 37 foot Dutch Star. This is a popular coach. What is the story here, sir? Bath and a half. Recent consignment. We just went through it, checked it out, passed all of our criteria. So it's on the showroom floor, ready for a new owner. How many miles are on this coach and how much money do you need? 34,000 miles and 229,999. Awesome, and this is the 3736 floor plan. You think we could take a quick look? Yeah, let's go look. Now this is a cool Dutch star, but the first thing that really popped out at me is these floors. I don't know if I've ever seen these floors before. Very high gloss, very cool looking floors. Yeah, they did a nice job. It's a bath and a half and a 37 foot, which you don't see, Televator. Pretty cool how much they crammed into this short coach. Yeah, now this is set up to be more of like an office area. So if you wanted to get some work done, put the televator down, you're still gonna have a view out of your window. Yep, yep. patio side. A lot of living area here. Uh, is this a triple full wall slide? Yes, triple full wall slide. Yeah, and a bath and a half coach. So I really like the, the wide opening into the rear bedroom with the triple full wall slide. But then we have a lot of room here in the half bathroom. Newmar does a great job with all of their finish work. Really nice style in here. Now I am noticing that we do have carpet here on the slide room. The Essex is quite a bit more money, but yeah. we didn't have the carpets on the slides, but we still have a bath and a half in a 37 foot motor home. So it looks like a queen size bed here. Yep, queen bed. And then you'll notice above the bed area, it doesn't have quite as an extravagant uh, area that comes out with all of that puck lighting like we saw on that Essex, but mm -hmm. still a really nice coach for the money. And, Still a large rear bathroom back here. You have a stacked washer dryer back here. Plenty of space. Multiplex light panel right here sitting on the toilet. You can turn your lights on and off. Vanity and a huge shower in the corner with some more storage. Yeah, this is another cool coach, a great opportunity, but I saw a Ventana that was priced in the ones next door. Do you think we can take a look at that? Let's go look at it. Cool. A shorty Newmar diesel pusher. This is a sought after coach. What is the story here? 2013, 34 foot triple slide, 360 Cummins, priced at 134, 999. A Newmar diesel pusher, shorty, great opportunity for someone. And this reminds me a little bit of a country coat shorty you have down there. We may have to take a look at that if we have time, but let's take a quick look inside of this uh, Newmar here. Now this coach is totally different than anything I've seen. And I really like almost like a butterscotch color leather on the captain's chairs and the sofa up here. Yeah, the owner picked that out and redid that himself about a year ago, so that's new. Well, those really tie in together with these cool tile floors. Another style tile floor I don't know if I've seen in a Newmar coach. A very cool design here. Yeah, it is. Hey, now, this is a rare floor plan with the dinette more towards the front of the coach. We have a smaller living area because it's a shorter coach, but still very roomy in here. It is very roomy, and they, they packed a lot in for a 34 foot to have your dinette with the extra deep wall cabinet module so you can double it as a workstation. And then the sofa across from it with a recliner. So for a 34 foot, that, that is, they crammed a lot in here. Yeah, this is nice the way the kitchen comes out a little bit to section it off. And I like the placement of this kitchen. Usually back here is gonna be where your electric and sewer hose hook up. So you usually don't have much of a view out of this way. I like that the windows are up front there. The living is focused to be looking more towards the patio side. I've got a GE Avantia microwave, Norcold refrigerator. And then a full bathroom here in the middle of the coach with the 
shampoo and soap dispensers. It's got the skylight in there for some extra height and a vent with a fan there. And it's still a really nice sized bedroom and good headroom back here. Uh, looks like a queen size bed. There are carpets in the bedroom here. Now, if someone wanted to have this coach remodeled, uh, is that something that can be done here at Premier yeah, RV? Yeah, we do a lot of flooring, so we could certainly remodel that as well. Absolutely. Well, it's great to see a coach like this that's priced in that obtainable range. I know we're usually filming the million, $2 million yeah. coaches, but someone looking to get into RVing, especially if they want a shorter coach that they can get into more places, this is a great opportunity. Did you say $135,000 for this coach? I did. And how many miles are on it? 34,000. Yeah, great opportunity for someone. Now, I know you're very busy here, but do you think we could take a quick look at that 32 foot country coach we down can. there? That's Let's a rare it. coach. It cool. is. We saw Louie going into this coach. I was a little bit worried that it already sold, but- Me, me too. <laughs> when I saw 400 Cummins in a 32 foot coach, yeah. this has gotta be a rocket ship. It is, it is such a great little coach. 400 ISL Cummins, 1200 foot pounds of torque, two stage Jake break in a 32 foot. Yeah, and the country coach is, you know, on the Dynamax chassis with semi monocoque construction, nothing else like it in the world. No, this thing will do 360s right here in the middle of the showroom. I mean, independent suspension. Yeah, an awesome machine. Looks like 101,000 miles on it and it's priced under 100 grand, $99,999. Yep. Now, this coach is a 2002, so it's outside of 20 years. I would assume someone would need to be a cash buyer on a coach like this. No, we can get some financing. You still can get oh, financing. Yeah. Sure. And I know there's a lot of rumors in the RV industries that it's hard to get financing on coaches over 10 years old. And I know you guys have a lot of 10 year old country coaches. Yeah. Are you able to help folks get financing on those? All the time. And what type of terms and rates are they currently offering? They will go up to 15 years, a lot of 10 and 12 years, but there are a few that'll do 15 years and the rates are right now are around 9%. With the price of some of these coaches, you can get a real low monthly payment and have a really nice coach with those longer terms. So if someone wants to get financing, you can uh, put them in touch with the right folks? Absolutely. On the outside of this motorhome, it has a optional Gerard awning, which is really cool. So push a button, it comes out 10 feet, wind sensor on the roof, full body paint, dual pane windows. And no slide rooms on this side of the coach. This is a single slide coach on the other side. Yep. But when you put that awning out, you've got more room under your patio. And then with no slides on this side, easy access to your basement bays. You this do. is a really cool coach. It is. Yeah. It's, they, they put a lot into this little 32 and they're just very hard to find. Very rare motorhome. Awesome. You think we take a quick look at this coach? Let's go in. Yeah. Oh, so this coach is in very good condition for a 2002. Do you know if this was reupholstered or is this no, original? No, this is all original. Wow. And, yeah. And do you know how many owners this coach has had? One. One owner. One owner. <laughs> Extremely rare coach. It is. Well, yeah. Well, what's this? Is this is your forte here? What, what's all going on here? Oh, look at the wood. Walnut. You just don't see walnut very often. Beautiful cabinetry, wall cabinet module here with your dining table. It's a 32, so over under fridge. Washer dryer right down in here with a shirt closet above. They're really utilizing that space? Yes, that's what they do. And then you have an additional nice closet right here too. Nice spot for that wardrobe right across from the bathroom. And then this mirror actually works as a full length mirror when I'm standing in this bathroom. I could see my full outfit and then if I wanted to grab a shirt or something. Nice spot for that. And a good size uh, bathroom considering this is a 32 foot motorhome. A lot more headroom in that skylight area. And then I see a north south facing bed back there. Yeah, you still have your pocket door. Yeah, and the quality of that wood is just incredible. And you got one right there for the bathroom. And then a north south queen bed. A little bit of storage under the front of the bed. And then this is all storage nightstands and drawers. Nice and deep with an adjustable shelf. With an emergency exit as well if needed. Yep, throw a pillow at first. Yeah, a little Samsung TV there. Really nice, smaller coach. A little more storage there. Well, Damon, I really appreciate you showing us around Premier today. Now, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer and want to purchase one of the coaches here, or maybe consign a coach with you, who can they get a hold of? If they call Louie or myself at Premier V 541-998-2640, we'd be happy to talk to them. Awesome, then you also have a service department. You guys do remodels, everything motor coach related here. We do. We have a 
body shop, cabinet shop, window clean room for foggy windows or creepy seals. I mean, you name it. Storage. Yeah, one of the best RV resources in the country. So we really appreciate you having us out today. And also check out Premier's YouTube channel. They have been making some videos, so definitely worth checking those out. Thank you. Yeah, my pleasure. And we greatly appreciate all of you that are subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. We hope you're all having a great day.